This video will demonstrate how to perform the weekly DFib checks for the Zoll R-Series Plus and ALS models. The checks for the R-Series Plus model are the same as what will be shown here on the ALS model, with one exception. The R-Series Plus model must first be put into manual mode before performing these checks. Turn the machine on. Then select manual mode. After selecting manual mode, you'll see that the buttons are illuminated and now you can perform the DFib check just like the ALS model. To start the DFib test, turn the dial to DFib. We are first going to perform the 30, 20, 30 test. Using the energy select button, scroll down until the screen reads 30 joules. Then hit the charge button. Once the shock button is illuminated, hit the down arrow on the energy select button to disarm. The recorder will start to print. Then hit the up arrow on the energy select button to go back up to 30 joules. Press the charge button. Press then hold the illuminated shock button. You'll see the 30 joule shock test OK with confirmation beeps and recording. Confirm the biphasic wave on the printout. You can hit the recorder button to stop or it will stop automatically. Here's an example of the printout you will see to confirm the 30-20-30 test. Next we'll perform the pacer test. Start by turning the dial to pacer. Turn the pace rate to 150 using the dial. Press the recorder button. On the strip chart, verify that pacing stimulus markers occur approximately every centimeter, which would be 10 small divisions or two large divisions. Next, press and hold the 4 to 1 button. The frequency of the pacing stimulus markers should decrease, occurring approximately every 4 centimeters. You can press the recorder to stop printing. Next, ensure the pacer output is set to zero. Disconnect the cable from the pads or test port. Slowly turn the pacer output control to 16. The message, check pads and poor pad contact will appear on the screen. The pace alarm will sound, and the clear pace alarm soft key flashes. Reconnect the cable to the pads or test port. Then press the clear pace alarm soft key. The messages check pad and poor pad contact should disappear and the alarm will stop. Lastly, we'll perform the recorder test. Check the printer for an adequate supply of paper before you begin. Then press the recorder button. Press and hold the size button for at least two seconds. A calibration pulse will appear on the display while the button is being held. 
Inspect the printout for uniformity and darkness of printing. Press the recorder button to stop printing. The Zoll R-Series DFIBs perform an automatic system check at 3 a.m. every day. Ensure that the machine is plugged into the wall into a red outlet. Also ensure that the pads are plugged in or that the connector is plugged into the side of the DFib in select areas. Manual checks are performed every Wednesday. This is reflected on the updated log sheet in the code cart binders. Do you need more information? Check out zoll.com for some educational videos. Refer to your HealthStream trainings. And lastly, check out the CCPD website for the Code Blue and CRT page. To find the CCPD Code Blue and CRT page, start by navigating to the MGB Salem Hospital Connect page. Then click on Nursing and Patient Care. Select Professional Development. And then on the left here, select Code Blue and CRT. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to the education team. You can reach us by pager at 72152.